all, this is Miss Mary from the West Dallas Public Library bringing you another What Caught My Eye off the new book truck this week. Um, and I have uh, some fun things I would like to show you. Picture books, chapter books, actually a reader this week too. Oh, and a graphic novel. Okay, so the first up is Good Night Sleepyville. Let's see, try to not get so much uh, glare on there. And it's a great bedtime story. The pictures are very calming and sweet. Shows different animal families getting ready for bed. If you need, if you have a little one that needs help unwinding it in the evening, I think this would be a wonderful choice. I love, oh, it is by, it's Goodnight Sleepyville by Blake Lillian Hellman, illustrated by Stephen Henry. There, I did that better. Okay, and then I did want to show you just one picture on the inside. Oh, see, I love the fox falling asleep and I love the bunny family. I think that's very fun. All right, so that is Goodnight Sleepy Bell. Another book, this is actually a nonfiction book and it's called How to Write a Story by Kate Mesner and illustrated by Mark Siegel. And I love Kate Messner. I love everything she writes. And then in this one, she gives you great advice on how to write a story. This would be great for a classroom share, read aloud. Also for a family that wants to do um, how to write a story unit. Um, it's very concise. It's very, um, very sweet and to the point. And I don't have any, oh, I thought I had one, a picture to show you, but how about if we just read this one? Okay, step seven, read through your story and make a list of ways to make it better. There you go. All right, so how to write a story by Kate Mesner. Oh, there's a lot of glare on that. I don't know what to do. How to make that less glary, maybe this way? Well, now you can see my messy story room. Okay, another book I have by Jennifer Holm and Matthew Holm is The Evil Princess versus the Brave Knight. There's some picture books with these characters. Uh, it's by Jennifer Holm and Matthew Holm. Oh, I said that. It's Husband and Wife Writing Team. Um, they're very fun. It's a reader. Great for beginning readers. Not the very beginning readers, but beginning readers. Um, it's lots of fun. It has good characters, a great story. Here's an inside look. And sometimes it's hard to get a good reader with a great story and great characters. And I love the illustrations. The illustrations go with the text very well. It really propels the story forward. So this is another one that I, re I recommend very much. Oh, and I recommend almost everything that Jennifer Holm and Matthew Holm write. They also write a fun graphic novel series called Baby Mouse. Okay, so another one that I wanted to bring everyone's attention. Now, this one, I did not read this one because this is the first and second book in the Phoebe and Her Unicorn series. I read the very first book of Phoebe and Her Unicorn and her unicorn's name is Marigold Heavenly Nostrils. Who cannot love that? And um, and it's funny because the unicorn does protect herself with the shield of boringness. Um, it's very fun. Uh, this is by oh, Dana Simpson. And I recommend so much. There's like 14 books in this series. And I believe the West Dallas Library has them all. Um, they, so they're probably not all on the shelf because they go quick. This is the first and second book of the series. I recommend it very highly. Okay, another book that I really liked is called Amelia Six by Kristen Gray. And it's, um, well, Amelia Earhart was an aviator, a very famous aviator in the early 20th century. And the main character in this book is also named Amelia and her nickname is Millie. And Millie and five um, other girls win a prize to stay in um, the Amelia Earhart Birthplace Museum, which is actually a real place. 
Anyways, someone steals Amelia Earhart's goggles that are worth thousands of dollars. And it's up to the six girls to figure out who did it. It's a very sweet um, book. I like it a lot. The girls, the uh, main character, Millie, makes friends with all the other girls. They're all very strong personalities, a lot of quirks. Millie suffers from anxiety. And um, so it's nice to have a character like that, a very realistic character like that in middle grade fiction. So if you like mysteries, there you go. I recommend it very much, Amelia 6. All right. And then my favorite book that I saw on the new picture book, this new uh, book trip this week is Our Favorite Day of the Year. And it's by E.A. Alley. And um, I'm sure I'm going to butcher this, but illustrated by Rahel Jumper Bell. And I just love this book because um, it's just... Uh, got a very nice story to it with a great character and it's um what it could be a great picture book read aloud for a family or in the classroom and it's a little boy Musa is feeling nervous about his first day of school so his kindergarten teacher tells everyone that her favorite day of the year is the first day of school and then throughout the year for show and tell, everyone's gonna talk about their favorite day of the year. So um, Musa has three friends and they talk about, they talk about this holiday and the Jewish holiday and Las Postadas for Christmas. And then one of my favorite days of the year, Pi Day, March 14th. So, I just recommend this book for a lot. I think it's a great reader out loud for family. It's a great book to get ready a kid ready for school, um, which we'll see what's going to be happening this year. So anyways, I think that this is my favorite book that I saw on the new book truck this week. So that wraps up another edition of What Caught Miss Mary's Eye on the new book truck this week. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I hope you have a great summer, a great rest of the summer, and I hope that maybe you can come into the library and check out some of these great books. Thanks a lot.